Microsoft Teams is changing, and in fact, I think it's the most radical change that we've seen in years. The way you access your chat, channels, and Teams is changing. And in fact, the first time I saw this change, it was pretty overwhelming. I wasn't really sure what to make of it. But in this short tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can master this new change and what you can do to make it even better when you work in Microsoft Teams. Anyway, let's dive into Teams and give you the skills that you need to master this new change. So you've joined me in Microsoft Teams where we've had the new change rolled out to us. As you can see on the left hand side, you'll find the activity and chat button. But do you think something's missing? Because it is in fact the Teams button. No longer do we have a button dedicated to your Microsoft Teams and a separate button for chat. It's now collapsed under this single button for chat. Meaning this new experience here now shows us a number of options. When selecting the chat button, you'll see favorites, chats, and also your teams and channels. It's a collapsed view of all of your content together in one single place. That now means you could access and click into your different conversations you've had with your colleagues through Teams chat. Alongside that, I could go ahead and open one of our projects in the project green space and also check out the team using a single view inside of Microsoft Teams. And as I mentioned earlier, that can be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of change in one single place. But there's also ways to improve how you can use this new experience. Firstly, we can use the filters at the top here. It might be we only want to see chats inside of this new view. And by selecting chats, we can easily click through all of those different Teams chats you had, which is dedicated to that view. By then selecting channels, we get a view of all the channels across all of your teams. Once again, click into them to find all of that relevant content. But by default, you will see a view of all of this information here. But there are also additional filters. By clicking the drop down at the top under more filters, you can also even filter this down to your meetings. Because many times those meetings just appeared in chat, but really hard to identify. But by selecting meetings, we can click into the meetings you've had in Teams and access shared resources, meeting recaps, the attendance to your meeting and so forth, all under this single view inside of the chat. It's quite powerful when you bring all of that together. But let's go ahead and also return it as it was previously. And one option that can be quite helpful is by simply selecting unread. In doing so, any unread posts inside of your channels or chat messages will also appear in the left hand side and that's given the focus entirely. For example, I could go ahead and open Alex's chat message and I can see both messages here. This has now been read so it won't no longer appear in our unread filter within our new chat area, which again is helpful to only focus on elements that are new in Microsoft Teams. It was really overwhelming last time to keep on top of everything that was unread in Teams channels and your chat threads too. But I feel the biggest and most positive change that comes to this new experience is customization. The last experience didn't really allow us to customize your view of Teams. And now, well, you can absolutely customize Teams. Let's go ahead and remove all the filters and return it back to this default view. Now in the scenario we're working on projects such as Project Greenspace, in the past version of Teams, we'd have different teams associated to Greenspace, as well as potential conversations I had with colleagues inside a Teams chat, and meetings where we discuss financials. Wouldn't it be better to have that in the one dedicated section for Project Greenspace, providing easy access to all of that content? Well, in the past version of Teams, that was never possible. But in this new version and update, it absolutely is. Let's go ahead to the top and click on the drop down next to new items. Then select the option for new section. And now we can give this section a name. I'll simply call it Project Green Space and then go ahead and click on Create. Now on the left here, you'll see Project Green Space is now its own dedicated section. This could be potentially your team name functional names, or even employees if you'd like to have that as well. But now it means we can organize the content into this dedicated section for quick access. 
And how hard is that to do? Well, not very hard at all. Let's go down here and under Project Green Space, I'd like to go ahead and add this general channel. I'll left click and drag up to Project Green Space. As you can see, it now shows Project Green Space. As the channel was named General, it also follows a team name so you can easily identify it. Left click in and you'll find that channel with quick access straight through this experience. But what about the meeting we had under Project Green Space? Well, once again, I could left click and drag that under Project Green Space. And now it's stored under the same section with quick access back to it once again. But what about conversations, chats with your team where it's all around a particular project? Well, we can also do the same. Here's a conversation with Alex, Matthew and Nextdoor. What I can also do, just like we did previously in Teams, is rename this chat thread. It's very helpful to me and the colleagues exist in this team chat. But let's go ahead, click on the pencil icon and give it a new name. So it makes it more sense when looking at it through Teams. With our new name set, I'll go ahead and click on save and it updates this group thread to exactly that. But once again, you could left click and drag it under Project Green Space. And now in a dedicated section, we could focus on Project Green Space resources, the Teams channel, the meetings we've had, and the group conversation that we've had in Teams, now under a dedicated section that you can easily access. I'm going to rename this later, or even remove it. Just click on the three dot menu next to that, and you can actually rename and remove exactly here and also sort this into the most recent, where most recent changes appear right at the top. So you can also reorganize your content in a way that we've never seen before in Microsoft Teams. And what about those teams that don't necessarily fit this type of structure, but you often access them within Teams? For example, here I've got another project, Productivity X, and I often access this Marketing Campaign Materials channel. What I'd like to do is get back to it quickly. Well, I could either left click and drag to the top under favorites and it will appear exactly here. But rather than doing that, you can also use the freed up menu in your teams list, select show in and then select favorites. And so here it's no longer just dedicated to favorite chats you've had with colleagues, but now you can add your teams channels in here for quick access under your favorites menu. And just like before with other conversations, I speak often with Nestor. So I'll left click Nestor's chat and put it under favorites. And now I've got it here quickly accessible outside of the other view of chats and teams and channels, providing more customization that we've never seen before in Teams too. And how easy is it to remove these from the favorites or other sections? Well, I'll select the free up menu and you can simply select remove from section and remove that from that section you've created. If you don't like the word favorites, once again, left click the free up menu, select rename. And you can change this to something else that may suit your needs as well. So these customized sections are a great way to work with teams that we've really waited years to see, providing you customization and groupings to be able to group them by projects, colleagues, functional teams, or more. And there's also another option to group your teams and channels. Down here, we see them in a traditional view of the world, the team name and the channels that then belong within those teams in the classic view that we've always seen for years. But what if you really wanna focus on channels? Well, in this new menu, you can click on the freed up menu next to teams and channels and select the list options. Now select channels only. And here, your teams get flattened down into channels. If there's a channel named general, such so under your 365 coach, it no longer shows the word general on the left hand side and replaces it with the team name itself. We can also see in these different elements here, the green space marketing is a channel within the project green space, but it's noted here as an individual entry because we're now seeing your teams in the view of channels. That can really work well, especially if you're working in teams with one channel that's really hard to get into every time that's called general. Flatten your view of teams and get quick access back to them quickly. Once again, to revert the change, click on the freed up menu list options and then select 
teams and channels to revert back to exactly as it was previously. And of course, not forgetting, you can also collapse all of these sections in this view. For example, collapse the teams and channels, the chats, project green space, and just focus on your favorites. That's a massive improvement on decluttering your view of teams. You can focus on the teams and chats that mean more to you than all of those hundreds of teams and chats that really get in the way. So it's a really powerful way, once again, to slice and dice the new view of teams. But what about the fundamental question? How can we add content or create new teams and channels in this new experience? Well, that's all done under this new items menu. By clicking on the drop down next to it, you'll see I have multiple options, new message, new channel, join team, new team, and also create your new sections. By selecting new message, you'll see in this experience, it defaults to some of our chats. But equally, I could type in the word project green space. I could go ahead and add a conversation into any of our team's channels beneath project green space. But here's another tip. If we go ahead and open up the chats, you'll notice it's a more simplified view. You don't see a view of the last message that's been sent under any of these chat threads like we saw before in the old view of Microsoft Teams. But that also can be re-enabled. Go to the top right, select settings, then go down to chats and channels and go ahead and turn on show message previews. It also by default adds in the show timestamps. Then returning back into the chat button, we can see now that we see the single post under each of these different chats. So you can easily now preview the last message by changing that single setting. But fundamentally, what if you're not comfortable with these changes? You need more time to be able to understand them and you wanna go back to the old view of Teams. Is that possible? Well, it absolutely is. Go up to the free dot menu and then select settings. And from here, once again, go into chats and channels. Here at the top, you can see the new combined view is what we're showing today, the new Teams experience. By selecting separate, you'll get a feedback form up here, which I won't go ahead and add any information in. You can see it's still set as separate regardless of me adding feedback. And as if by magic, on the left-hand side, our chat button has reappeared, and so has our old Teams view. But we do here now see, using this new experience, that it still keeps our favorites in place, and also it keeps in the new sections that we've added for Project Green Space and the view of your teams and channels. So absolutely, you can return to this view of seeing teams and chat under two separate options, but you still get your grouping capabilities, which is a great way of grouping all of your logical teams together in one single place. But hopefully, you won't need to revert it after following all of the tips and tricks I've shown you in this tutorial. So that's a big change in Microsoft Teams. As I mentioned earlier, the first time I saw it, it was pretty overwhelming, and I immediately went to find the off button to remove that new feature. But actually, it's really not too bad. There's lots of positives around bringing together common chat threads and channels and teams under customized sections, and lots of ways to filter through all of that different content. But of course, if you need more time to adjust, you also know the way that you can turn it off and then turn it back on later when you're ready for it. And of course, if you haven't already, please let me know your thoughts on these new changes or questions so we can cover them on a future video on this channel. And I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button, the all important subscribe button, so you can come on a journey with me and improve how you're gonna use Microsoft 365 tools that you already have on your computer. Other than that, well, I'll be seeing you on the next one.